Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? Hello, New York. And to everybody joining us today. In just a few moments, whether you're re-enlisting or getting promoted, we will renew the oath, your pledge to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. There are two extraordinarily special places to take this oath. The first, the first is at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. I say that because there are three foundational documents there. The Declaration of Independence, the Constitution of the United States of America, of course, and the Bill of Rights. That is where the idea of America is kept. You know that idea, that we are all created equal, and that we will all come together in defense of our inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now I want you to think about this place for just a moment, the 9-11 Memorial here in New York City, because I think this is the other place. You all know the story of 9-11. Many of you either joined or you are continuing your service because of the tragedy that occurred here. We can never forget the people who were murdered on these grounds, nearly 3,000 of them. They have family, loved ones, indeed a nation that grieves for them to this day. This is hallowed ground, and for that reason alone, it makes this a special place. But there's also another reason. I want you to all break ranks for just a second, and I want you to look around here. Look at the people that have gathered here today. Look at the buildings, the prosperity that has returned in 15 very short years. Think of the potential, the promise, the permanence that this place represents. Because this, this place is the embodiment of America. This is America right here. So when you pledge your oath in just a few moments, I want you to think about all that. This is Fleet Week this week as well. You're going to be moving around town and everywhere you go, New Yorkers and the tourists, Americans that come here are going to thank you, oftentimes for your sacrifice. That always shocks me, it surprises me just a little bit. I personally don't consider my service a sacrifice. I consider it the great privilege of my life to serve this nation, and I hope you do as well. After all, it is an honor to pledge the oath. It is an honor to stake our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor upon this country. Look around you here. No one, no one is going to push us off this rock. Thanks, everybody.